Hey guys, it is Tristan with Nerdots Newsstand, and I want to talk about some new documents that were obtained by the Blast. They always do and have done a great job at getting these different declarations. Now, this comes from and was entered into the ongoing Virginia defamation case and it is from one of Johnny Depp's good friends um he, his name is uh his last name is Richmond Josh Richmond and he has some allegations um entered in about Miss Heard now um some of these don't seem to be as big of a deal as the other but what it does is it kind of sets a pattern, a pattern to her a behavior, to her manipulation, and so forth. So let's take an actual look at these filings. It says, I've known and considered Johnny Depp a friend for approximately 33 years. I attended Johnny's wedding ceremony with Amber Heard in the Bahamas on February 7th, 2015. It is a small, or it is a small island, and the number of wedding attendees was quite small. None of the few of Johnny's actual friends who attended were happy Johnny was marrying Amber and we openly discussed it. Nobody wanted to see that wedding ha happen. They went to it, of course, in support of Johnny, but it seems like quite a few of them were completely against it. The general view of his friends, which I shared, although we hardly knew the full details then, were that Amber Heard emotionally abused and tormented Johnny, cut him away from his real friends, and was emotionally cruel to him. He always seemed to live in fear of how she would act if he ever tried to break up with her. This is classic partner abuse. Oh my God. His family, friends, and I always felt he succumbed to Amber's demand that he marry her for the reason among others like it. Now, if you'll notice um, when it comes to domestic um, abuse, a lot of times they will separate people not only from their friends, but from their family. It's a huge control issue. And they do kind of gaslight the person to feel like, um, you know, fear. And that's what he's saying. You know, fear if they ever broke up. And a lot of times it'll go so far as to fear if they say something wrong, they do something wrong. So, yeah, this is a this is just showing the abuse was already there before they were even married. So, he continues, we, and certainly I knew from Johnny that prior to the wedding, that on the night they had argued, Johnny recounted to me, Amber went to the bathroom, then came out with a Kleenex with red on it saying that he had given her a bloody nose. And after the incident, he retrieved the Kleenex, which he said he still has to this day. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me, Amber? So he, she wanted victim points so badly that she said he hit her, but got a Kleenex with nail polish. Like, honey, you can smell the difference. You can see the difference. It is a different texture. Everything. That is pathetic. What is weird to me is, um, Johnny, you know, it's a shame. Because Johnny, obviously, we're talking about previous to the wedding or around that time, knew of her antics. So previously to the wedding, she did this. Didn't he question at some point then... You know, I get it. You, you, you always like, I love that person. When it comes to some sort of interpartner violence, you're like, I love that person. They didn't mean it. You know what I mean? But this is just, it, that's an extreme. That's, you really want those victim points. Amber had placed red nail polish on the Kleenex. Wow. It is something else, girl. It was an incident like this of which his friends knew only a fraction that made us concerned for his welfare in the marriage. Anyone who has known Johnny for a long time, or even briefly, would notice that his uniquely chivalrous, kind, and thoughtful person, who treats every human being the same, is always helping people and doesn't like to harm 
even uh, the feelings of other people. Now, I do get that. I do, I, you know, sometimes there are people like myself. I am very much so a people pleaser. I don't want people either A, upset with me or to, you know, think that I am treating them poorly. But when you have someone going to this, to this extreme, you know, it's, it's getting to be an issue. So he also says the day before the wedding, Amber Heard's friend and member of her wedding party, who we've talked about previously on this channel, Io, tell it right, violently assaulted another member of the wedding party, Rocky Pennington, during an argument about the wedding details and who was essentially going to assume the role of wedding planner and carry out Amber's frivolous missives. Wow. <laughs> like, all the people that defend Amber are crazy. Now, I do know that um, I owe... Mm, maybe he was going through some hormone issues, but I just... I can't imagine going to the extent that these people... Are, have gone to. Um, it also says that in a document, Richmond claims he spoke to Wright about the incident and Amber's friend confirmed it was a physical altercation. Richmond even described the nickname. He claims Wright was given a funny nickname based on the rapper U, uh, um, AAP Rocky. I slap Rocky. I don't get it. Okay. He continued, many of the wedding guests and Io's girlfriend called um, Io, I slap Rocky. I mean, okay, I, I guess maybe it's an inside joke. For the rest of the weekend, Io was quite proud of this and seemed to find it hilarious, like a badge of honor. That's how they wear them, right? They're either violent or victims, and they wear them like a badge of honor. So Amber's attorney, Roberta Kaplan, I've talked about, you know, before, no amount of self-serving leaks or irrelevant statements from friends of Mr. Depp can change the underlying facts of the case. Ms. Hurd looks forward to winning her case in court. Right, Robbie, like, I totally believe you. You are you are always honest. You didn't have anything to do with the Weinstein issues or, you know, whatever. I guess so. Here is the thing. This woman, this woman has a pattern of abusive behavior. I've more than documented it on here. And what bugs me the most is, and I wanted to talk about this, is the fact that we are having this from people like the Blaster Daily Mail, but when you look into other media, people like the things. Um, they're saying what it was like to work with Johnny Depp. They are trying to do anything to make him look bad. And um, there's absolutely no need for it. So they're making him look bad by, you know, saying you're not allowed to say the A word, which, of course, is Amber. You're not, you know, you might not get paid on time. Like, come on. You're trying anything at this point to do just exactly anything you can to hurt him. Not only that, but it's, you know, saying you'll be exposed to drugs. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Holy crap. Nah. This is a joke. You are doing anything to make him look bad and her look better. Why this narrative has gone around, and I understand my biases. I really do. I don't get it. I don't. He even said, they even go on to say, you know, when he wa he's wasted, he just might attack you. Like, come on. Okay, I get it. You guys are trying, but it's just not working. Everyone is seeing through the bullshit at this point. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about these new documents and about the things trying to basically blast him. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye Hey guys, I want to give a huge shout out to my Patreon and subscribe stars. You guys literally make this channel possible. Huge thank you to Cage the Mick, Robert Mick Twiz, Black Knight Fool, Brucey, Chris Z, David L, David Rafford, Jeffrey Allen Carnes, Mighty Balls, Mike Buckner, Mizen Barbosa, Ruskar, Ryan Deckert, and Doc Holiday. You guys are absolutely amazing, and thank you so much for all your support. 
don't forget on the way out to like as always if you enjoy the content and hit subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.